I'm Casey. And I'm Lana, and we are Class C Broads. In today's video, we are going to talk to you about a thing that a lot of people don't like to talk about, and that's just how much money it costs to RV. We just finished up our first year of RVing on the road, and let me tell you, when I went back and looked at the numbers, it was shocking. Shocking, I tell you. Well, so we don't have a budget for RVing. We didn't have a budget when we lived in the Sticks and Bricks, and we're not going to have one now. We just, we're not crazy people. We don't do opulent things. We're just kind of normal people who like to have a good time, and we're going to go out and do what we want. But again, when I went back and figured out how much money it costs to do what we want, it was a lot of money. So stick around. You might need a beer for this. And we'll be right back to show you the numbers. Show me the money. Because we're classy. Video, we are going to give you the grand total on what we spent in our first year, but we're also going to break things down by some of the major categories. The first of which is what did we spend on campgrounds? The rent is too damn high. <laughs> so we travel a little bit differently than some of the vloggers that you see out there. We like to stay in a place at least a month so we can really get a feel for the area. And maybe someday we want to live there. So we want to get a vibe from that area. So a lot of our campground costs are monthly instead of, let's say, weekly or daily. Although we do have some of those there. On, sure. You know, when we want to see a few places along our route and just an overnight stay on our route as well. And that being said, we did go to 11 states and we did travel 7,000 miles this year. And the total cost for that is around $10,000. The most expensive campground that we stayed at was actually an RV resort out in California, Catalina RV in Desert Hot Springs. It was around $1,000 per month. And the cheapest place that we stayed in terms of a monthly rate was down in a Houston suburb. We paid a little under 500 or so a month for that site. So, you know, campground costs, even monthly rates, can vary dramatically depending on location. Our next category is RV gas. We spent approximately $4,700 on gas for diesel for our RVs. Yeah, we started out with a 2019 Jayco Greyhawk, which is a gasser RV, and then bought Big Lady, our Super C Integra Accolade. We went from a gas motorhome to a diesel motorhome, and with that, we got a TSD Open Roads card. It's absolutely free to sign up, and there's a nice app that will show you the discounts along your route, and these discounts will be at certain truck stops in the truck lanes. Yep, a great way to save money. The next category is one-time RV supplies, and these are things that we hope we only have to buy once. Since we already had an RV, we had the sewer hoses and the water hoses and things like that prior to getting the new RV, but we had to switch from a 30 amp surge protector to a 50 amp surge protector. And there are other things like Starlink for our internet and the pole mount to mount it up in the sky, the snap pads for our levelers, magna shade tire covers, our Gen Y hitch so that we could carry our bikes and flat tow our truck, the Marcel, which is our temperature monitoring system, puck lights for under the RV for night lighting, a telescoping ladder, TPMS, and a bunch of miscellaneous gadgets that I thought I just had to have. 
We also got some interior items like a storage rack that fits over the toilet, a foldable chair, and a bunch of other storage saving devices. For all of the supplies and stuff that we had to get when we decided to go full time, be sure and check out our website at classcbroads.com. One other sort of one time RV supply thing I wanted to mention that we put in this category is an RV inspection. Because we were getting a new rig, we wanted to have it inspected, and I'm glad that we did. I just Put this in here so that if you are getting a new rig when you start out RVing full time for the first time, that you think about that additional cost. I asked how much it was. How much is this, Marie? It's very expensive. And our total cost for our one time RV supplies was right around $6,800. Our next category is RV supplies, and this differs from one-time RV supplies in that these are things that we'll probably purchase more than once, like tank treatments like Happy Camper and Slide Lube, and also our Marcel subscription, which is a temperature monitoring system so that we know what the temperature of the RV is when we're away, so we can make sure the dogs are staying nice and cool. And we've got a separate video on that and sort of a lesson that we learned the hard way that we'll put in the description below. The cost for one year of RV supplies for us was just around $700. Even though we purchased a brand new RV, we still had some maintenance associated with it that we incurred in this past year. So we had our sort of regular first year maintenance. We also broke a windshield and had to repair that. And we went to a few truck washes and actually got the RV detailed a couple of times. And the total cost for all of that was 3100 in addition to gas for the RV itself, we also have gas expenses for our towed vehicle. We started out with a 2019 Jeep Cherokee and then purchased a 2022 GMC Sierra Elevation full-size truck to use as our towed vehicle. And the gas for both vehicles combined was right around 2200 for the year. We also had some additional expenditures in order to get our new truck to be able to flat tow it behind the RV. Now, we already had a Nighthawk tow bar, but we had to install a new base plate, a battery disconnect, and we also got a new portable brake system, the RVI brake, so that if we ever got a new tow vehicle, we wouldn't have to buy a new supplemental braking system. And the cost for all of that was right around $41, $4,200. We also got a truck cap for the truck so that we could protect our e-bikes from the weather and from theft. And that total was around $4,500. So the total for this category with those two big ticket items and some other maintenance ended up being right around $11,000. Now, when you're on the road, you have to eat and, in our case, drink. And we ended up spending how much? Right around 15000 Now, that included over 90 breweries that we visited. And it also just included our groceries, you know, at Walmart, Aldi. We also found this wonderful store called Heed, the H-E-B, <laughs> down in <laughs> Texas. And, you know, Walmart gets a little iffy. It's groceries, it's toilet paper, it's maybe command strips, something like that. So this category is very broad, and it's going to differ between what people like to do. We like to go to breweries. We went to 93 breweries in the last year, and you probably won't do that, but that's okay. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to that. <laughs> Another big expenditure is insurance. In addition to having 
insurance on the RV itself. We also have insurance on our tow vehicle. We also have a separate policy that sort of protects us from liability at a campground. There's a separate policy on the contents of the RV. And then we also have a policy on a storage unit that we have with some stuff that we didn't take on the road. So lots of insurance policies to think about. And what was the grand total on that? Around $2,900. We use State Farm. I know a lot of full-time RVers out there use Progressive. But for whatever reason, we shopped around and State Farm ended up being the best for us in terms of the insurance needs that we have as a package. The next category is telephone and internet. And this includes, you know, your monthly fees for getting the internet into the RV and your monthly fees for having a mobile phone, things like that. Looking for some internet. Yeah, they got it here. All right. But there ain't enough to go around. All they got is a little internet. We actually have Starlink, so that's a cost. And then we have a backup plan with a mobile hotspot. And then we have, you know, our phones. And that ended up being around $3,300. Next category is memberships. And we spent around $1,100 on memberships. And that includes things like Escapees, KOA, America's Mailbox, RV Trip Wizard, Harvest Hosts, and my favorite, Amazon Prime. And I think that the biggest expenditure in terms of those memberships was America's Mailbox, who is who we use as our mail forwarding service. And they actually also assisted us with registering our new truck. So about half of that, five or six hundred, I think, was with America's Mailbox. Yep. I think one of the lessons from this is that some of those memberships we really didn't use all that much, like escapees and even harvest hosts. I think we only had three nights where we used a harvest host. So those are things that we're going to look at and maybe not renew for year number two. Another line item that you should consider, even if you are full time on the road, is a storage expense for all your stuff that doesn't fit in the RV. We ended up spending around 840 or so, I think, in the past year for a storage unit. So just another thing to think about. Lana likes her mementos. I do. Now, in our storage unit, 95% of the totes are mine. She's got a lot of tchotchkes. Another first time expenditure that you may have are moving expenses. And we had around $900 in those expenses. And that included a U-Haul to move all our stuff to a storage unit in another city and gas for that commute. Yeah, again, just another thing to think about if you are going to RV full time. U-Haul lets anyone drive a giant truck, even though it's dangerous, because, hey, you're moving. You know, we didn't start RVing to just sit around the RV. We actually want to get out and see some of the local attractions out there. She's a roam away silver coach. Boy, I wouldn't mind driving that to the Holland, Michigan Tulip Festival. So we did have to pay some money for tickets to various attractions. And that included tickets to the NCAA Softball College World Series, Paisley Park, the Space Center Houston, the Palm Springs Tram, the Grand Canyon Railway. We also caught a few Royals games, including a spring training game. And to keep us entertained around the RV, we have a YouTube TV account, Hulu, Disney Plus, ESPN Plus, streaming services like that with Netflix included. Yeah, and we kind of mix and match what we're subscribed to at any given time, depending on you know, programming wants and desires. And all of that, our entertainment expenses, was only around 3000 which I think is pretty cheap. I think a lot of what we do for entertainment is hiking and biking. And of course, as you guys know, we go out for beer breweries. And that's another category, as yeah, you know. A whole other category. You know, even though you're on the road, you're still going to have health care related expenses. Flesh eating bacteria. Hot dog fingers. Count choculitis. <laughs> Sounds tough. What? You're probably going to have health care premiums, prescriptions for drugs, and of course, you've got to meet that deductible. And I know this is going to vary 
widely depending on your family size, your health care needs, etc. But we ended up spending right around $13,000 or so in terms of health care over the past year. So again, just something for you all to think about. So if you've been watching the channel, you know that we are dog lovers, so we obviously have a pet care expense. And that includes grub for these kids and immunizations and incidents like this guy's eye and, and that this, and this guy's tummy. Yes. And that cost was around $4,500. This expenditure is going to vary depending on whether you have pets or not. Just something to think about. If you go full time, your pet expenses are not going to go away. Nope. They might even increase. Another expense that we had that you guys probably won't have is the cost to have this YouTube channel and our website. We ended up spending around $3,800 just for this. Dollar? Yeah, just for this hobby that I have. Now that also included a new computer for me with this great graphics processor. I do all of the editing on our videos. It included our website hosting costs. Um, it also included some new fancy camera equipment, a new GoPro, a new video camera. So, you know, having this channel isn't cheap. Please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. And thank you for watching. We also had around $11,000 in Things that we're really not going to get into, kind of charitable giving, office supplies because I still work, hobbies like my 3D printing, things like that that you may or may not have. But our total for that broad category is around 11K. So what was our grand total? And we have to give you a caveat here because we're not going to include the price of the new RV and the new truck. Besides those costs, the grand total was right around $98,000. Which was a lot. I mean, I would not have thought that we would have spent close to hundred grand in our first year of full-time RVing. I mean, it was certainly way more than we spent in our sticks and bricks. And just making this video, going through those numbers, the budget was really eye-opening to me. But we had a lot more experiences than we would have if we had just stayed home. So I think that those experiences equate to more than money. Absolutely. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys in terms of what it really does cost to live full time on the road, at least what it costs for us. I'm sure it can be done and is done every day a lot cheaper than this. But this is how we are living, and cheers to this. And remember, whether you're on the road or on the web, stay classy. Cheers. I'm gonna, you're going to have to start drinking Bud Light because of our budget. <laughs> <laughs> we may not be like other vlogs. There's a dog on my head. Uh-huh. Yep, that's why. <laughs> we really want to make it feel like home because we're doing laundry <laughs> right now and it's jumping up it and down. It probably doesn't <laughs> affect the camera because I think you're probably everybody's well. moving. Okay. Every, okay. Everything's moving at the same. Our cost for that, mm, thank you, was 4500 but the cost of love is priceless. That's right.